may respect our inspector. But I don't think you come to a community because you cannot win in your own. There is some loyalty, some core principles, some core beliefs among Democrats of what we stand for. And yes, as has been said, there should be a reaching across the aisles because John Murtha did it. But it was always a principled compromise, not a compromise of principle. So you were proud at the end of the day of having worked with the other side. Never forsaking our principles. People ask me, are you liberal? Are you conservative? I'm neither. I'm just pragmatic. Everybody in the military has health care. Because the dividends that accrue to our nation are immense. As I went off through 11 and a half months of that Afghanistan war, I never thought about my family and their security and health. And we were productive warriors. We don't promote you anymore by the senior chief petty officer rank unless you've earned an associate's college degree. Because we need knowledgeable warriors. Come on in, that lady city of New York Harbor says, and be all you can be. Get a pension if you stay long enough and a skill. And I argue everyone in the military is a Democrat, they just don't realize it. Because we invest in our people. But it gets me to my second story. Accountability. We know what it means to invest in people. I walked around that aircraft carrier every night when the troops came home from their mission. And I sat on the nest bed. She has to calm down because the men and women were back from Afghanistan and the precursor combat ops in Iraq. At 2 a.m. in the morning, I listened to the sailors that we had invested in. And they were accountable to this nation. On an aircraft carrier, the average age of the youth, 5,000 strong is 19 and a half. My mom was a high school math teacher at Cardinal O'Hara, where all eight kids of us went, and everyone tried to miss her, but the last one got her. When she came aboard, she said, my God, Joe, they're my high school kids. Yeah, Mom, you gave them to me one year later, and they're great. Anybody who doesn't think so just hasn't worked with them in a template of responsibility and accountability. A young 19 and a half year old youth from that aircraft car carrier taught me the one lesson I most value in life. When a pilot gets into his or her plane, they first turn on their engines, and then they hook you up to a catapult. And that young 19 and a half year old youth will push that button, and man, you're pushed off for the ride of your life. Walt Disney has nothing over. Sometimes when the pilot's sitting there, however, they've got to shut down their engines. The airspace is clogged. They want you to get out, wait for the next launch. But no pilot worth their salt will ever turn off his or her engine until they know where they can't see under the belly of the plane that they have been detached from that catapult because, you know, they're 19 and a half. And they can make a mistake. If you're sitting there with your engines off, still attached, and someone leans against that button, you go off for your last ride of your life. So this youth comes out on that deck in the middle of the night, goes under the belly of the plane, detaches that plane from the catapult. And then walks to the front of the plane. He gives a very simple signal. And then stands right there and doesn't move. And so that pilot has opened up his or her canopy after shutting off their engine and gotten safely on deck. And that kid has said it all. Go ahead. Trust me. I am responsible for having detached you from that catapult. But hold me accountable also. Because if I made a mistake and somehow after you turn off your engines, you start heading overboard to your death, I'm going right overboard with you to mine. Heaven forbid a United States Senate that felt that accountable 
for the policies that this nation needs. This president has a right. He just needs people there. Contrary to what John F. Kennedy said, one man can make a difference and every man can try, no. It takes several men and women to make a difference. You don't vote for change, you fight for change out of core beliefs and principles. That's who we are. Every great generational change has been made by this Democratic Party. Yes, it is the mark of the progressive movement, some say. Freedom, civil rights, suffrage, equality, believing in people and investing in them in search of that perfect union. I very much want to be one of those individuals down there that is not a politician who will change their position with their party because of political calculation. I'd like to be someone who is a mentor, John Murphy, but no one. But there seems to be a lack of them today that will do the right thing, willing to lose their job over what's needed for people. Thank you for having welcomed me ever since that first picnic. When I'm senator, you're going to be tired of seeing me. Thank you very much.